So how do you create an online store using just Vue.js? Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about Vue.js and we are going to create an online store. Well, I already created one. I'm gonna show you the code behind it and we're gonna talk about a, a few of the features of Vue.js and how they work. Before I begin, let me just let, let you guys know that Udemy is having a $5 sale. So check it out. I put some links in my favorite web courses below. So those should help you out a lot. Let's start. All right, so here is the kind of the final product that we were creating today. I just added, uh, this is a part of a project I'm doing for my book, the Vue.js in Action book. So these are just some basic concept of Vue.js. I went ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download or buy it. You can actually get the first chapter for free if you click on the link below. So this is a list of items that I'm pulling from a product.json file. And I'm just doing some basic styling to it and some a little bit of a little bit of logic. So you can see here I have a cat food, 25 pound bag. And then if I had to add a cart, you can see the checkout cart at the top changes. I have a certain limited amount. So you can see here it changes text as the amount goes down and then it grays out the add to cart. I also have the star rating, which is pulled from the product.json file too, which is nice. And then I just have, I list all the different products and they all do the same thing. You can see here, if you can add cart here, you can see it adds it out. So it kind of adds all the different products. It keeps them separated. It actually adds it into an object. Uh, if I click the checkout button, I have this nice checkout page that I created. I can put an in information in there. And just for demonstration purposes, at the bottom, I added in what it looked like. You could see here, it, there's a few different directives here that are looking at these things. I created a drop down, some check boxes some radio buttons um, and a zip code. So this is nothing special here, but you can see an idea of, of what that is. And I have this checkout button switches between the two. So really simple app, but it kind of gives you an idea of a lot of different concepts that you could do in Vue.js, which is awesome. So let's take a look at the code. Okay, so here in the code, you can see here, uh, I have all the code here, you look at it. So I'm, I kind of have it zoomed in pretty far, but so if you look at the top, we have this Vue.js depot, maybe I'll make it a little smaller. Yep, this Vue.js depot, I have a couple script tags. I'm not using Vue CLI. Um, I am going to be writing, rewriting this app using Vue CLI in the future, but I just wanted something really simple for the beginning of the book. And you can see here I have some style sheets. By the way, if you look at my GitHub, the, this uh, this actually source code is not up yet, but it will be up in the future. If you're interested in getting this source code, sign up for my email list below. I'm using Axios to do uh, to to actually pull the product.json file from it. So I'll show you that first. So this is really simple. I have an HTML tag, a head tags. Um, I have my div ID for my app. I have where the site name is. I'm using Bootstrap in here. You can see here, I'm including it right here in this link, the style sheet tag here. And then uh, Vue.js uses something called directives and VF is a directive. I'm using show product. So let me show you that first. So here's in the script tag right here at the bottom is where all my information is for my new Vue instance. A view instance, this is where all, a lot of the logic is for view. So here at the top where the HTML is, is our template. And down here is where we have the logic for the view. And so inside this data object, we have something called show product. And these are all your properties. And you can use these properties with, out, with inside your view application. So I have show product called just, uh, it defaults to true. But I have this method here. So you have this method hash here inside this method I have show checkout. And what it does is it's just a simple toggle. So it says if, and it changes in, by the way, anytime you refer to an, a property inside your view app, you do this dot show. 
or this dot and the name of the property. So this dot show product equals this dot show product. It's either false or true. So it sees if it's true, then it goes to false. If it's false, it goes to true. And if you look at where show checkout is, if I can get that right, you can see here there's this button. That's the button at the top that we saw before. It has a V on. So what this means here, this is another, another directive, and it means on the click of the button, do this method. So it's going to do the show checkout method. And then so in that case, that V if, if so that, that V if we saw earlier, the show product, this will toggle off and on. So that way we can switch between the different pages. Now, of course, in the future, if you are interested in view, there's uh, something called components and there's routing, but we don't have any of that yet. This is just a real basic app to show how it works. So I just use a simple VF directive there. Now, let me go back to what I was talking to you guys before, Axios. So once again, this is a lot of different concepts. Uh, maybe in future videos, I'll break this down to something really simple, but there's something in view called lifecycle hooks and each lifecycle hook gets initiated at different times and events. So in this case, the created lifecycle hook gets created when the app gets loaded. And so what I try to do here is when the app gets loaded, I load the products.json file, and that's this file here. And you can see here, it's just a basic JSON file. I have products, each product, uh, there's an array of products, and each one has an ID, a title, description, has a, a link to where the image is, has available inventory, and a rating. So that's just really simple, and there's a handful of them in there. So this is where it pulls everything from. And by the way, uh, if you run this as just an index.html file and double click on it, it won't work. You kind of need to run it as a web server. So that way when Axios runs, it can actually get the file from the hard drive, just a FYI. And then Axios has a really simple syntax. It's thenable. So once uh, the re promise returns, I get a response back. And then I just do this dot products equals response data dot products. So once I get the information back, which should be the whole data, the whole object, the, the JSON file, then I can put it back to my products property, which I'll show you in a second. And by the way, it always comes in this format of response dot data. So you have to do dot data and then that will have, then you can access dot products from there. So if we go back to our app, so if I inspect at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but when I load it, if I reload it, you can see this object here. If I click on the object, this is the, this is the object basically that it got that has every uh, information about the available inventory, description, ID, image, price, rating for each item. So you can see it here. So this is directly from the JSON file. So that's just a little bit about that. So that's how I load the, the file from it. This loads into this.products. So if I search for this.products, I also have some filters and some other things, but I probably can't get to, to all that right away. But if I look at this.products, actually I should just do products. There it is. So it's just an empty array, but it's it's an empty object, I should say. But it's in my it's in my view instance in the data object. This remember in data is where we create all our properties, like the site name, the toggle we're creating, the states, my order object, uh, and then I have methods. When this is where I do some more logic. So the video is already running about ten minutes right now. So I think we covered quite a bit here. I, I'm, I, if you like these type of videos, we'll go into more detail. I definitely want to go into each part of this app and show you guys exactly how it works and we'll construct it one by one. But this is kind of just an overview of how it works. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you and have a great day.